And we've got lined up for you now India Today's big political super scoop on prime time from the political landscape. This is a bombshell of a news break as Prashant Kishore, the country's top political advisor and strategist, negotiates a possible Congress role for himself. We've revealed what is believed to be Prashant's 2021 draft plan to revive the Congress party, which is very much part of a seven-year revival plan that Prashant Kishore is believed to have presented to the Congress party as a prescription to bring it back from defeat. Recommendation number one in this draft plan that India Today has accessed suggests that Congress president should not be Rahul Gandhi. The second big recommendation from this draft plan, and I want to underline that this is a draft plan that is believed to have been presented, is that Sonia Gandhi will not be the chairperson of any formation going forward. Recommendation number three in this draft plan, which dates back to June 2021, is that an erstwhile Congress leader, perhaps Pawar or Mamta Banerjee, could be the UPA chief. Now remember, like I said, these are all, this is all a dynamic political situation. Prashant Kishore has been holding multiple meetings with the Congress leadership for a possible role for himself within the Congress party. The Congress has said no such presentations, uh, you know, have come before us. So this is a situation that is developing very, very rapidly. So the usual disclaimers apply. But the fact of the matter is Prashant Kishore is very much in talks with the Congress party for a possible role. The question now is, has Prashant Kishore's stand on the Gandhis changed from this draft presentation that India Today has accessed, where it appears that Prashant Kishore does not want Rahul Gandhi as the president in any formation that he shapes, and that Sonia Gandhi should not be the UPA chairperson. Consulting editor Rajdeep Sardesai, uh, you know, who's gotten us access to this draft plan from June 2021, is with us live on this. Rajdeep, uh, you know, we're trading very carefully because this is a, uh, you know, this is a dynamic, developing story. Uh, uh, we do know that multiple meetings have taken place. But, you know, I, I can't help but jump straight on to that big point because this is a draft presentation. Is this still Prashant Kishore? Uh, Kishore's prescription and mantra that he's presenting right now before the Congress party. And just to be very clear, the Congress party has said these are things that are being presented. None of this that, you know, that is being reported now has ever come before us. Look, what, what we do know at the moment is that this was one of the drafts yeah. that was put forward when Prashant Kishore's team was, uh, had initially begun in the middle of last year, post the Bengal elections, talks with the Congress party. We don't know whether on all these issues the uh, team Prashant Kishore is aligned with what they said six months ago. Mm. We are also unclear at the moment specifically whether those ideas, thoughts on the leadership remain the same. But one important point in this draft where he says or the draftsman says, perhaps for the first time the Congress leadership does not appear fully aligned in terms of goal, strategy, method, approach, tactics and the way forward, leading to a complete lack of cohesion, at times confusion and stalemate. Hmm. And then goes on to underline how both under Sonia Gandhi and under uh, Rahul Gandhi, uh, the Congress hasn't been able to revive itself. And then puts the preferred roles, which include a non-Gandhi, either as the working president or as the president of the party. Yeah. Which... We don't know whether he will con he continues with the same prescription, but this was one thought process being expressed. As a result, there are clearly Prashant Kishore, in a sense, is underlining what most congressmen say in private, hmm. but are unwilling to say in public, that we need to find a way in which our leadership is not just confined to the Gandhis. Have mm, a role for mm, the Gandhis. Mm. It's not that Prashant Kishore is saying don't have a role for the Gandhis. Which is why he's prescribed a role for uh, Rahul Gandhi as the head of the, uh, of the parliamentary, parliamentary board. board. Yeah. Effectively suggesting Rahul Gandhi needs to play a greater role in parliament. Yeah. Is suggesting that Sonia Gandhi uh, could continue to play some kind of a role as, uh, as either as a sort of a more as a mascot for the party mm, in mm. some form. Uh, so it's not about discounting the Gandhis, but it's about a recognition that the Congress, A, needs organizational strength. 
it needs a leadership change because the five strategic decisions that he says to kickstart the process first fix the leadership issue solve the alliance conundrum hmm. speaks about a congress plus alliance system not necessarily upa but do strategic alliances in specific uh, states where the congress is weak and yes. be willing to concede space to regional parties number 3 reclaim the party's founding tenets and i'll come to that in a moment create an army of grassroots leaders and foot soldiers an ecosystem of supportive media and digital propagation mm. Mm. what are those foundational principles create a new congress that is a political platform of choice for the masses protect legacy values and core principles liberate from inertia mediocrity and status quo destroy a sense of entitlement lack of accountability and psychophancy mm. and importantly conceal the immutable baggage of nepotism and corruption connect with the masses become their voice and capture their aspirations and very interestingly shiv yes there is a nataraja hmm. which he has put as the inspiration so the symbol the inspirational symbol that he talks about of the congress is creating nataraja creation protection liberation destruction concealment connect we so uh, you know you would normally see a nataraj symbol possibly on a bjp manifesto but here is a and rahul really? gandhi being a shiv bhakt will probably appreciate <laughs> and this. he's calling it a reincarnation of the congress yeah. preserve the soul create a new body i you know the, the 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 journalist in me is wondering rajdeep you know like you rightly said all the caveats apply the draftsman who made this presentation on behalf of uh, prashant kishore etc but you know i'm wondering since the time this this presentation was authored in june 2021 things have significantly worsened for the congress so i am wondering whether anything would have substantively changed from these you know pretty drastic strong recommendations by prashant kishore the only thing that has changed is the congress's position has weakened even further yeah because what changed between when this first this draft uh, was circulated and today is the congress went in for elections earlier this year and lost in all the states in a sense that weakens the congress's position vis-a-vis -vis prashant kishore because uh you know can they in a way rein in prashant kishore if they are to induct him into the party or do they give him some kind of a larger than life role this has led to considerable debate and we are told another meeting is scheduled for tomorrow so there is an engagement with prashant hmm. kishore which is taking place at the highest level and unprecedented i don't recall where someone outside the party is being given 7 8 hour presentations to party members including sonia gandhi in yes. fact i'm told the latest presentation runs into 585 slides and sonia gandhi is the only one along with i presume priyanka gandhi vadra and rahul gandhi who been given access to this entire slide presentation so it's a very unusual thing for a congress a sort of status quo is party to in a way bring in a professional advisor to put this before them and as you rightly said much as uh, nothing really has changed from june to today if anything the congress has weakened even further one final question to you rajdeep uh, you know this uh, these presentations are happening these meetings are happening you know we've heard from within the congress while we were talking about this story with the congress uh, you know in charge various in charges is that they're talking to several different consultants but it's pretty clear that uh, you know prashant kishore is you know is the is the big one he's the he's the most well known uh, uh, some discussions have happened since last year when this particular presentation was obviously uh, drafted do you see this ending in any substantive role because even in this draft presentation let's point out he uh, actually articulates a role for himself general secretary in charge of media you know when we have asked prashant kishore in recent times and rahul kaval and i did an interview with yeah. him he insisted he was coming without any this was a negotiation which he was doing without uh, any preconditions he is not asking for any post or any specific post he wants to get involved in in a sense in politics rather than as a political consultant rather than as an outsider he wants to be an insider for the next couple of years so he says he's coming without any conditions therefore one presumes that prashant kishore is uh, flexible enough at the moment because he too perhaps sees this as his big opportunity uh, just as the congress knows that they have nothing to lose yes. so we'll have to wait and see whether there is actually a position created for prashant kishore or over time organically he finds his feet in the congress as of now the jury is still out whether prashant kishore will be embraced and accepted in the congress or not or whether 
once again, like in June, July, uh, there will be these negotiations and they will eventually fall through. The differences, yes. they seem to be taken very seriously this time. Chief ministers were called yesterday. Bupesh Bagel and Ashok Gelot were called for a, a presentation by Prashant Kishore. And Sonia Gandhi is driving this entire exercise. Okay, we'll have to see where the chips fall. Picture abhi baki hai, as you so often say, Rajdeep, in any big political story. Big scoop nevertheless. Let's see where things land. It's still a story in motion. And we will continue to track where this story moves and where things land. Rajdeep, appreciate it. Thank you so much for being with me on that big news break My here gosh. on News Track.